Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Moron, and uh, this is my England colonial campaign. So, not much to do. I, I mean, you know, we could claim the throne here. We're not gonna. Just not to set up for it. We, we'd have a truce. Blah, blah, blah. The Iberian wind's gonna fire. Uh, we don't. We can't contest it and all that crap, so let's keep going. And, uh, yeah, oh, there's that rival I was hoping would break. So it brings us over again, thank you. It gives us an opportunity to stay above 50 a little bit longer. So, who's next on the hate list? Denmark. It looks like Denmark makes the most sense to me. I want to get this alliance potentially with Muscovy. And, uh, yeah, he sucks anyway. And... Scotland can rival me again. That's hilarious. This game's broken. Uh, he's still not interested. We share the same hated enemies. Let's just keep improving. I think we're maxed, aren't we? Nope. Work on it. Still waiting on that institution. No, we're not. We've already embraced it. I'm sorry. Uh, now we have to pay back loans, and I actually can change this to protect trade. And protect our trade, please. I don't think I have any other edicts on, right? Nope. Good. And what is our trade income looking like? Ah, pretty good. Don't need a pause. Thank you. There we go. One second here. Okay, let's keep going. And uh, actually, I was thinking about it. We're behind on tech, clearly, obviously. Uh, what I actually want to do is get a half price level three. In order to do that, I need to bring him. Oh no, he is. It is half price, right? Above eighty, correct? Yeah, half price. Yep. I want to get a. Uh, I, I really want to get administrative uh, you know we got to push for we got to push 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 we're going to go innovative first anyway and uh, which is going to get us a little bit behind the colonial game so we just got to push push hard france pretty old we got to look at that as an opportunity i don't know what's going to happen there but we shall see uh yeah keep training get that professionalism up I'm gonna kick one of these admirals. Like I'm gonna get rid of this admiral. He's in, he's better combat though. We don't need to yet. Wait for that modifier to expire. Gives us the extra general from Parliament, which will be in a while. Sixty-eight. Yeah. Actually, I should say about well, selling the Renaissance is what I should be doing. Uh, let's come back from Leinster. One of my allies, I don't know who has it already. Yeah. Ooh, a monthly deficit, really? So he doesn't have it. Oh, he would take it. I'd rather give it to Castillo, but I'll take so someone's better than no one. And this is going to help, uh, you know, get us some cash, pay back our debts, build some buildings, la 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 la. I still have to wait for Savoy's royal marriage to, to end. Uh, Fort defense, siege ability. Siege ability, please. Good tech up. We should do that. Uh, I'm not going to develop anymore. So, yeah, start teching up. Marketplace. We'll be building those very soon. All right, we're about to tech up a uh, mill soon. Be nice. Caught up pretty well. I don't think we're getting any. Uh, All right. Yeah, we're still pretty far behind on everything, so I'm glad we didn't spend our points on, on military points developing. I was tempted to bring uh, London to 40. Glad I didn't. Cruising against France. Got lazy diplomats. Uh, still waiting on our favors from our allies, and then uh, I would like to go pick on Burgundy. Uh, would be the ideal candidate 
So I'm on Amsterdam. In Holland. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's never a good idea. Let's, uh, let's work on the Ottomans. Just, you never know. He could be useful. I don't want this alliance with Castile forever. Um, nothing else I can do with Denmark. Well, look at that. Pass his first reform. Good job. We could go finish up some of Ireland. Because... Well, we have truces anyway, right? Pretty much all of them. 72. What was it eight here? 69. We'll follow it. Okay, well, there you go. Um, but no. Need to catch up. I want to get my first idea group. I want to get influence done. And getting more land is not going to help us get that done. So, again, colonialism is the focus. So let's uh, work on that. And trade. What is this? A lot of half, a lot of stuff going on here. Nothing I care about though. Not not a war I'm interested in. Okay. A lot of new monarchs. Is this pausing? It is. All right. Well, I want to know about that. It's good to know. So the clergy are back down a bit to get our points. Um, there's zero reason not to get points. I do want to send an emissary again, but that brings us really, really high. And uh, we'll wait a few years to do that. It's not no no rush. Uh, do I want? Yeah, let's just take it now. And. Uh, they are, it's gonna piss them off if I ask for money now. And honestly, if I can get them to 100, we can get even more money, and then we can take it. That would really piss them off, right? So, let's not be too, too greedy. Let's make them a little angry for a bit. Well, wait, we'll wait till January. I think that might, they might get a, take up to 49 or something. Oh, new rival. Something happened. Let's see what happened. Oh, uh, Aragon. Iberian Wedding. That's what happened. Yep. That's what's happened. There it is. What? That is hilarious. So... Huh. It's interesting. How do we take advantage of this? I mean, I don't want... I, would, I definitely don't want Castile to win. Of course not. So, that's really important. Castile can't win this. Number one. Now, Scotland can be a viable rival. This is a good chance to get our... Wait, how can Scotland not be on this list? He should be now. We'll wait for a month. Maybe it'll take over. Let's see. Come on, Scotland. There it is. Uh, manpower. I guess so. Pretty low. Don't want to spend too much money on advisors and stuff. Let's pay back some of our loans. I think we only had the one, right? Yeah, let's build some marketplaces as well. Start getting our economy to grow a bit. Um, I think I want one in... Well, they're just all so good. Yeah, I'm, I gotta really think about how to take advantage of this situation. Technically, going to war with Scotland only brings me to war with... Brittany and Sligo, right? Garbage. So I can bring the full force of my men down. We did catch up. <laughs> and, uh... The war goal... I'll make in Scotland. 
Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna have to do. So we're caught up a bit anyway. Uh, what are you, Tech Five? Tech Five? Okay, yeah. So yeah, we're you know we're Tech Five. Tech Six is a pretty important one too, though. And we are not getting that many points. I might hire this guy actually, uh, but our money situation kind of sucks. I feel like we lost something. I feel like. Oh, we are still knowledge sharing with him. Ooh. A little worried about getting behind. I don't... F the good news is because France is going to be a subject under Scotland, his force limit goes down quite a bit. Um, the question is, can I get any of my allies in? We didn't lose Aragon like I thought we did. So Aragon would join this war. And that would be enough. I don't have 10 favors from Austria. How long till I get 10 favors? Far. Um, Aragon would be enough, but I mean, I don't understand why this is not fired. Woman, woman, man, man, like, something's weird here. And so if I do that, it invalidates. But I mean, at the same time, I can utilize his manpower and armies early on before it fires. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I also lost When's our truce up with them? Okay, the good news is it's up in like a few months, so we can re-embargo. Let's move our men in position now. Um... Yeah, I think this is a good plan. And it, you might ask, what's this have to do with colonialism? It has a lot to do with it. But we need to dominate. We need all of this stuff. And uh, even... Champagne because stuff comes in from Bordeaux and it will come in through Champagne. We need to dominate all of this Is the plan as well as Lubeck. I don't care about this stuff But here 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 definitely and at some point here and here more so You know This is the ideal time He cannot get any more allies. This will put us at war with Sligo so what I might do is uh, we'll bring we'll bring this army actually. Well, we'll just switch out the generals, but we'll bring one army to to Ireland to deal with Sligo, and then Scotland. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. We have until April. And you need to cross to Ulster. There goes our truth. Let's, uh, this is excellent uh, timing. Gets our power projection up. Well, that sucks. Like, at this point, like, I'm going to lose a lot by saying no, but I can't. I cannot let Castillo be in control of this. That's just dumb. So if we have any favors, we don't. Like, he has it with me, but I don't have it with him. Ugh, 25 prestige. And Diplo rep. You can afford the prestige. We're gonna lose power projection because this is our rival. But uh, like I said, I, I cannot let... Fuck, this sucks. But no, I'm not going to let this opportunity slip by. All because I embargoed instead of declared war, right? I, it's funny. And again, if this was not Iron Man, you could just reload it. But I find that kind of silly. I think it's important um, as just like an average gamer. You, you learn from your mistakes, you know, and deal with them. It's the point of the game. I hate watching people, these YouTubers and stuff, like, oh, reload because something happened that I was out of my control and I don't like it. It's dumb. We'll take the prestige hit, we'll take the diplo rep hit, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, that's an amazing general, 05. But we outnumber him immensely. But it also shows me where my general's going. Oh, that's gonna hurt. This mountain's here too, right? Yeah, well, he can attack. He... There's nowhere really he can attack. He can take this province. But it doesn't, he can't cross zone of control. Uh, it sucks this province is gonna get devastated. It's gaining prosperity. 
I mean, we could s technically sit there. I don't know. I think if we sit there at the big stack, he won't want to attack. It's my guess. So we'll, we'll sit there. And, uh, yeah. Um, I need my ships out. Should have unmothballed them a long time ago. But I didn't. I'm a fool. And we're gonna say no. I can't do this. Uh, we don't need to declare war right away. And I'm gonna pick up an alliance with Muscovy now if I can. Just because we've lost a lot. I don't think I can though, yeah. Doesn't really care about us. So. Hmm. It's okay. We're not weak. France is under a union. He's not a real or really he's our only enemy. Just want to get a few ticks in to get my heavies out. I don't want to get blockaded and suffer all this crap devastation for my prosperity and nonsense. This war's gonna go on for a while. Let's let the French deal with the stuff here. I don't know what Castile is up to. I can't see. There could be a lot of fighting down here. Any sieges? No sieges yet. What about around in Castile? Nothing. Guess we're in no rush to, to declare war. Let the French and the Spaniards murder each other. And uh, he's just gonna keep doing that. That's okay. I don't think he's gonna attack us. And I don't need all these troops either. So let's take back two, three, and then this should be more than enough to deal with Sligo. And this will make us beefier and scarier. Wow. Oh, yeah, they have to. It's not a wow. How's our ships looking? Uh, well, one more month. And again, there's no rush. We don't have to. Go to war. All right, there we go. And we're going to go innovative first. And again, you might ask yourself why. And I could go over that a little bit. Um, and I, because this episode's coming to an end soon, I'm... Maybe I'll address it more in the next episode. Um, but for now, I'll say innovative ideas, you, if you're going to take them, you take them early on. So you maximize your benefit from tech costs and institution costs, all that stuff. Innovative gain, it's, it's just so good. Um, and if, if you, you know, just I wouldn't take it later on because you're you're losing a lot of the benefits. And uh, yeah, the, the policies with innovative just go well for colonizing in a lot of ways and and uh, I'll, I'll go over that in the next episode and i'll explain a bit more my my thoughts behind it and why i'm going to do this but for now we're going to take it and uh yeah we're going to power through it get behind again on admin but that's okay we're generating 13 a month and our air is going to keep generating a lot what i like about our air is it's got a lot of mills as well uh, we're not going to declare war yet there's no real point. What I should be doing is looking at people's, um, France's, yeah, that's, that's ghastly big. The thing is, is I don't know if France is going to help. He must be disloyal, right? Okay. So I can declare war now. He's disloyal. He's only going to protect his land and there's no way Scotland's going to get him loyal. There's no way. The problem is, what I'm afraid of, is if if I go to war and kill Scotland, what if Castile lands, right, and takes that capital? He can then force that union over France. That's dangerous. I think there there is there is one thing we could do but it, again it, it's a gamble so the idea would be if i were to declare war now beat up scotland um take what i want and then piece him out but once i piece him out he's gonna be tiny as hell he shouldn't be a valid rival after that and then i can rent him out kandatiari because he won't technically be my rival, but then he's going to be hostile. The other thing too is if Castile is smart enough to get troops over to Scotland, which he could be, and he does get the Union of France, 
France is going to be pretty disloyal. And uh, we could always just support his independence as well. I, I really don't like the idea of crushing... Because, again, Castile... Like, let's look at his navy. The computer's pretty bad with navies, usually. See, he's got 15 transports, right? Even if he were to land... He, that's pretty good. Scotland should be able to fend him off. The war goal, I believe, is... Is it Paris? What's the war goal? Yeah, okay. So, for... Yeah, so Castile would have to control the war goal to get the Union, I'm pretty sure. All right, so that's not a big risk. Uh, let's let's just start our war now. Let's get our power projection. France, obviously, Brittany. Oh, uh, yeah, we can eat some land here, too. Uh, Brittany's going to be annoying. So let's put on our defensive edict now. Guaranteed he's going to... Like, I want to be able to crush these guys first, and then we're in France. I'm not worried about it. He, he's only going to defend his own land. Um, and uh, we'll deal with that when that situation arises. First and foremost, we got to deal with this crap. Let me see who you're at war with, just to see. He is at war with Scott, you've written his Sligo. <sighs> There's still a lot to be said to wait to declare war. Let Castile and all their... Allies start getting a mix of it. There's no rush, right? No rush. Let's just go. Let's let's go. Let's wait. Be patient. Ships are repairing. Yeah, I don't need to put pause about that. But uh, Aragon lost his. Okay, there's some fighting down there. There's my timer. What is this? Why did you lose? Your overlordship of Navarra. I'm pretty sure Navarra was controlled by him, wasn't he? I could have swore I read that. Um, he would vassal. We could vassalize him, and I think that makes sense to me. I think it's worth going over the relationship for Navarra. Gets me that culture group down there. Gets me in a. A lot of ways to get in. Well, let's just try. He has no relationships right now. He would. And uh, at some point, we're going to lose a marriage here with Savoy or Castile. And then we can worry about that later. Clergy influence. Don't care about the prestige I want. Yeah. No. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here. And we're going to think about uh, when's an ideal time to war with Scotland here. Oh, we lost our knowledge sharing. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, we're losing innovativeness, which we don't have. It's fine. All right. Well, that's going to do it. See you guys next episode. Have a good one.